Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cool game themed uh, menu uh, kind of headers. They look really cool and uh, yeah, so if you're into gaming and kind of stuff like that, this is actually really easy to do. So anyone should be able to do this. If you follow the tutorial correctly, uh, you should be able to do it pretty good. Um, so yeah, so the dimensions for a Twitter header are uh, 15,000 by 1500, sorry, by 500. So let's just change it to 1500 uh, by 500, just like that. I think all the other details are default, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. So just press OK. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to Google and uh, get this image right here. If you type in Black Ops 3 game menu, it's actually the very first thing that's here. And it's literally in 4K, it's taken on a PC, so it's the highest quality that you're going to get. And um, the other thing we're going to need is Black Ops 2, well, it's, it's the same, I'm pretty sure it's the same font as Black Ops 3. But um, when I typed in Black Ops 3 font, this is the one that came up. And uh, this is the font that we're going to be using as well. So both the links will be in the description for you to download for yourself. And they are both free, so it just makes things even easier for you. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our image, go to view image, just to get the highest possible quality. And um, of course this is in 4K, so it might just take a little while. So we're going to right click, go to copy image, obviously you guys now have to copy and paste an image, so we're going to press command V. And now you can see, they basically pasted our image into our Photoshop document. And of course the first thing we need to do is resize it, so we're going to press command T. And now, we can, now we've got this, um, this kind of rescale uh, box come up, so we're going to hold shift drag in just so we don't change the dimensions because if we don't hold if we don't hold shift then it'll do this and we don't really want that so we want to keep it nice and tight just like that we can zoom in by pressing command uh, plus and uh, okay so we just want to resize it to how we want I think we can actually make it a bit uh, a bit smaller just so we can fit everything in okay that should be fine and of course you don't have to use black ops if you're not interested in black ops you don't have to use a black ops uh, menu but um, you can still follow the same tutorial but it will be a di bit different for you guys obviously but of course you still follow the same steps so the first thing I did when I um, when I imported my image I added some color correction so if you don't have this adjustments tab open just go to window and adjustments right there make sure it's ticked and now we can actually uh, operate this window right here and now we're going to do is going to go to brightness and contrast and this is actually the only color piece of color correction that we're going to be adding so we're going to boost the contrast way up just like that and then we can also play around the uh, the brightness maybe decrease it a bit it should be fine and um, yeah okay so now that we've done that we're actually going to hide this layer just because it'll make things a bit easier when um, hiding some of the text and stuff like that and okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our layer one which should be the menu we're going to right click on it go to create uh, convert to the smart object and now obviously you can, now you can see that it is now a smart object by the thumbnail we're now going to go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and we don't want to blur it too much but I think two two pixels should be fine you guys can just copy it down but if you are using a different game it might look a bit different for you so you want to make sure it's the right blur for you and uh, we just can press ok just like that and now we're going to click on smart filters right here and now we can actually decide where we want some areas to be blurred and where we don't want them to be blurred so now we've clicked on the smart filters we're going to press B on our keyboard to go to our brush tool or you can just click right there make sure that the um, the color is black make sure that you've clicked on our smart or the, our smart filter or the mask and now it's going to click in the areas that we don't want to be blurred and now you can instantly see that this area up here is no longer blurred and um, it kind of adds a nice effect because the edges are still kind of blurred I just think it looks kind of cool it's just me a personal preference right there and uh, we can just click on the bottom left as well because we want to change this text and then uh, we can also change the size of our brush by using our square bracket uh, keys and then we're just going to take away the blurness from this text here as well and then finally we're going to just click once in the middle just so we can get a bit of the soldier involved as well and um, when this stops lagging I can show you that the bottom part is actually still blurred and then um, the top half is good so yeah everything's looking quite good now we can add the color correction just to see how it looks and I think I'm actually going to play a bit with that as well maybe increase the brightness a bit just because I don't want it to be too overwhelming okay that should be fine so right now we're on minus 16 by 33 but of course if you're using a different game like I said it might need a bit of a change for you okay so the next thing we're going to do is get rid of these uh, these text areas. So if we can just move over here, we need to get rid of all this text because this is where we're going to put our text. As you can see right here, I've put my name there, put my name up here where the PSN or the Xbox Live name or the PC name would go. And then, um, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over to this area. So the first area that we're going to get rid of, we're going to hide our color correction again. We're going to make a new layer just like that. 
and then we are going to press B on our keyboard again. We're going to go to our foreground color right there. And then uh, we're going to click on this rectangle that's in the background of the text just so we can get the same color. So when we get rid of the text, it doesn't stand out. So now we're going to decrease the size of our brush again using our square bracket keys. And then we can just click over the um, click over the text. Actually, went a bit over. We can click over our text just like that. And now you can see it's actually disappeared. And that's because we used our brush over it, obviously. And just make sure when you do that, you do do that on the new layer, just so you can edit it if you do need to in the future. And now when we zoom out, you can see that it was, if, it was as if there was no text there in the first place. And now we can actually add our own text. So to do that, we're going to actually remove, well, we're going to hide this layer too, just so we can see the sizing and the colors and all that. So we're going to go back to our foreground color, and then we're going to get this yellow just so we can make it perfect. Press enter. Now we can press T on our keyboard or go over to here where um, our text tool is. Just click once. And then we can put whatever text we want. So I'm going to put my name in. Why not? Might as well. And then we can hold command or control if you're on a PC. Hold shift as well. And then uh, we can drag out this text to make it a bit bigger as well. And um, now we can just reposition to make sure it's in the right spot. And now we can just hold command again and then angle it just so it's right. Just so it's as like as if it was actually in the game as possible and uh, I know they aren't exactly the same font uh, with this font and the one in the background but uh, you can change the font if you want to as well okay so now that we've done that we can actually show our layer 2 again and now we can see that we got our PSN there and uh, well our username in there and we can just reposition to make sure it's centered and now it actually looks like that was the text that was originally there and um, yeah so that is now perfect so the next piece of text we're going to be changing is this Black Ops 3 uh, logo right here. So to do that, we're going to go to our actual game layer, which is right here. So layer one, we're going to go to this icon right here, which is called the spot healing brush. And then uh, we're going to click once and it'll ask us to rasterize it. And a good idea will probably be to, um, to duplicate this layer first. Uh, so to do that, all you need to do is go to the layer, click on it, and then press command J and I'll duplicate the layer. Just click once now and then press OK and I'll rasterize the layer so it's no so it's now no longer a smart object. And um, yeah, so now that we've done that, we're gonna use our spot healing brush again. Well we haven't actually used it, you just click on it, and then we're gonna click and drag over all of the logo just so it covers it all and it should be fine when we let go. Now you can see this literally as if it was never there, like I said before with this front with this first text. And it's literally that easy to um, to remove text and stuff like that. So you can actually do that for any game titles, like it could be for FIFA. You don't have to do it on COD and it is actually pretty simple and easy to do. And so now we're going to click with our text tool, pressing T on our keyboard to select the tool. And then we're going to press, and we're just going to type in our name again, uh, make it larger by pressing command and dragging out using shift. Hold command again and we can resize it and then we can actually angle it there as well, just like that. And then of course the text was originally white so we're going to change the text color back to white just like that and now you can see it actually is pretty cool there you can put your logo there and just want to make sure it's all centered as well so you can use your arrow keys for that it might be a bit more precise if you do it like that and um to make sure that it is parallel to make sure that the text is parallel with these two lines just press command t line up and then you can just angle it properly using this the line on the on the selection tool and um the line on the um, on the bottom there. So once we've done that, we can just zoom out a bit, and um, now you can see it's actually right. And I think we're gonna have to um, I think we're gonna have to resize it again. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, that should be fine. And now you can see it looks pretty realistic, and it looks fine like that. So let's actually remove this text. So again, we're gonna go to our brush tool and um, just like that and now we're going to go to our foreground color and we're going to click on the background again just like we did before just so we can get the right color and then again we need to make sure that we are on layer two and then we can just go over it just like that and just erases it pretty much it is literally that simple and then uh, we're actually going to do that for the rest but if you can see there's like a bit like of pixels that you can see you might want to go over the the dead pixels just to make it a bit more realistic and we're going to do the same here it doesn't matter if it doesn't look realistic because it's, you can't see the glow anymore but we just want to cover the text for now and then we can sort out the glow uh, a bit later on okay it should be fine and then finally this text right here and then we can get rid of the zombies text as well oh, let's just redo that real quick okay that's now fine and of course we need to change the color to this background color right here and then just make the brush a bit smaller I think and then we can just go over it 
it is just that easy and is it if you were like literally erasing it yourself and yeah so now you can see that it looks as if all the text is now gone and now we can actually replace it with our own and uh, but before we do that we need to actually fix this glow so you can see that the glow kind of goes onto the um, the other banner so we need to make a new layer just like that and then we can change the the color our foreground color to this pink or this red uh, to what the glow would look like we're gonna increase the size of our brush and then we wait um, oh yeah first we, we need to make our selection so we're gonna click drag out just like that just the parts that we want to change so we don't want to change anything in this box right here so we just click above the box and now we've made our selection so everything we do from now on will only affect what's inside this box so now we can just click and then we can actually we should probably use a smaller brush so let's use our square bracket keys again and just drag across we don't want it to be actually it's probably a bit too pink so we'll go for an We'll go for this side and make it a bit more orange. And then, um, actually, I think a good idea would just be to click once on a bigger brush, just like that. And you just keep clicking across, and now you can see that we've actually added this glow to it. And it looks pretty realistic. Uh, you can go into more detail, but for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to—I don't want to take too long doing it. And now we can just add our social media and stuff in this text whatever you would like so you can click again press add our text baz these it in it doesn't have to be white but i'm only making it white just because that that was the color that it was before and um i wanted to try and make it realistic and if you want to use a social media all you need to do is go to libraries i did make a tutorial on this so actually it was actually my last tutorial so if you want to know how to get all these social media icons right here go to my last tutorial and you can check that out and um yeah, so you can just find a social media you want, so you just click, drag it in, and um, that will load in just like that. Find the positioning, resize it, holding shift, and press enter. And now we can just want to match it up in the same position, just so it's literally right next to the text. We're going to double click on the logo, go to color overlay, and now we can see that is white as well. And you just want to keep doing that for the rest of the social media on the rest of those boxes so it's literally that easy guys i really hope you did find this tutorial uh, helpful if you have any suggestions for me or if you want help from me just leave it in the comments below and i'll be happy to help you guys out so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video